Hey, hey, future nurses, it's your boy, Nurse Mike here, and today we're tackling something that shows up everywhere. From anatomy to patho to med surge, blood flow through the heart. Now, I know this topic can feel downright overwhelming with all the valves, vessels, and ventricles, but stick with me, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to sketch out this simple blood flow through the heart, not only from memory, but also be able to explain it to your classmates like a pro. So grab your notes, maybe a snack, and get comfy, because you're about to learn how the heart really pumps life throughout the body. Now, let's start with why this matters. Blood flow is the delivery system for oxygen, nutrients, and hormones. It's also how your body gets rid of waste, like carbon dioxide and other things. So blood vessels are simply the highways of the body. Now, what about the heart? The heart is a powerhouse, constantly moving blood through two circuits, one to the lungs and one to the rest of the body. That's what keeps us going. So to make this simple, think of the heart like a two-room house. On the right side, we got blue deoxygenated blood heading to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And on the left side, we have red oxygenated blood headed out to the body. This is what's known as cardiac output, blood going out to the body. Now, each side has two chambers, an atrium on top, which I call the attic, and the ventricles on the bottom, which I call the basement. So just remember, A before V, atrium before ventricle. The alphabet will never let you down. Now, here's the roadmap. There are 12 total steps in blood flow through the heart, six on the right side and six on the left side. We're going to hit every single one of them together. So let's walk it through step by step. Step number one, deoxygenated blood, that blood that's already been used by the body, now returns to the heart through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Fancy words for the entrance to the right side of the heart. The superior vena cava brings it from the upper body. And what do you think the inferior vena cava does? Well, yes, it brings it through the lower body. Now, both of those empty into the right atrium which is the top chamber on the right side of the heart. Remember, the atria are the attics. Then blood moves to the tricuspid valve, and here's a trick to remember that. Try before you buy. So tricuspid comes first on the right side, and the bicuspid comes second on the left side. Now, after passing through the tricuspid valve on the right side, then blood drops down into the right ventricle. Remember those basements. Next, the right ventricle contracts and pushes blood through the pulmonic valve. Now, always let the name help you. Pulmonic, think pulmonary for lungs. From there, it enters the pulmonary artery, which, by the way, is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. So, the pulmonary artery sends blood away from itself into the lungs to get oxygen. Okay, so let's recap the right side real quick. Blood goes from the body that's deoxygenated, without oxygen, right into the vena cava, then the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, down to the right ventricle, through the pulmonic valve, then pulmonary artery, and finally, the lungs. Woo! Okay, now that blood has been oxygenated inside the lungs, it's ready to make its way back to the heart and out to the body. Remember, this is cardiac output all the blood being pumped out of the heart in one minute. It returns through the pulmonary veins, the only veins that carry oxygenated blood and flows into the left atrium. From there, it passes through the bicuspid valve, which is also called the mitral valve, or the arterioventricular valve. Remember, try before you buy. We use the tricuspid valve on the right, so the bicuspid valve comes next on the left. After that, blood moves into the left ventricle, the strongest chamber of the heart. That's why I call the left ventricle the big mama, because it has to pump all that blood out to the body. So when the left ventricle contracts, it sends blood through the aortic valve into the aorta, which is another big vessel. The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. And from there, the blood is distributed to your brain, organs, arms, legs, and everywhere it needs to go, like down to your pinky toes. So let's go over a few tricks to lock it in. 
first, let's start with the vowels. Remember the order, T-P-M-A. So that's tricuspid, pulmonic, mitral, and finally, aortic. And if you're not into mnemonics, then use this simple phrase, toilet paper, my aorta. You know, whatever works to help you remember for the exam. You can also remember that veins vacuum blood back to the heart, the double V's. And for arteries, think of the double A's. Arteries push blood away from the heart. And again, you can always think A before V. Atria always comes before ventricles. So let's walk it through one more time, nice and smooth. It all starts with deoxygenated blood coming through the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. Then it flows to the tricuspid valve and then into the right ventricle, the basement. Then through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery and on its way to the lungs. Now, after the red blood cells get oxygen inside the lungs, blood comes back to the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Then through the bicuspid valve, the blood enters the left ventricle, which again is the big mama. Then finally, through the aortic valve, out to the aorta, and to the rest of the body. And just like that, you've got it. You did it. You now know more about blood flow through the heart than most people walking around out there. So if you still need help remembering it all, you can rewatch this video, or better yet, check out our music video called Hotel Cardiac, where we sing about this in an animated way in a parody to Hotel California. Or you can check out our full nursing school support system where we break down complex topics just like this one into short animated videos that are easy to follow with memory tricks built right in. Our entire system was designed to help nursing students just like you retain only the most important testable info and saving you 60% less study time. For every one simple nursing video that you watch covers about one hour of textbook reading. So if you're tired of feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or stuck, then it's probably time that you give it a try. We'll help you study less, remember more, and feel way more confident for your exams and ultimately the NCLEX. If this helps, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you got a heart-related question or a topic you wanna see next, simply drop it into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay curious, stay confident, and I'll see you in the next one.